Previously, on Here's Why Azealia Banks is a Menace. Did you get your GED in jail? I hate to fight this all. Is it you, girl? I hate you for coming out of that voice. Hey guys, Don here, your pop culture boy. Before we get into this video, I want to say that this is not an exposing Azealia Banks video for being a horrible person or me holding Azealia Banks accountable like how can I do that? I don't know Azealia Banks. This is just a fun video because most times I am not taking her seriously. To me, Azealia Banks is the definition of an industry menace. She's like a villain that people roots for. While other celebrities will keep quiet about things affecting them in the music industry, things that can be detrimental to their career, Azealia Banks doesn't care and she will sing like Mariah Carey. Azealia Banks is a straight up savage. But not the edgy savage, but a literal savage. A lot of y'all seem to like part one and as for part two, so this is for you. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of Rihanna and Azealia's beef, let's dive deep into the history of where it all began. Anti. Believe it or not, Azealia Banks was headed for a bright future in the culture, but her being a shit starter and the ability to hate always being on deck, it cost her career. In the early 2010s, Azealia's name was circulated as an upcoming it girl in rap. And many big name artists, including Kanye West and Lady Gaga, wanted to collaborate with her. Now, in 2015, Azealia Banks was arrested for allegedly biting a female security guard on her titty. Yes, people, her titty. The biting took place at the club Up and Down in New York. And if you're wondering what does Rihanna have to do with this, don't worry, we'll get there. Side note, Rihanna is a menace and a definite savage in her own right, but that's for another video. If y'all want it, let me know. Anyway, it's alleged that Azealia's name was not on the list to enter the club, which was an invitation only. That caused an altercation outside. Banks allegedly began screaming, cursing, and using racial slurs towards the bouncers. The rapper did eventually get in the club after the owner got her in. But we all know that was not enough drama for Azealia Banks. Azealia is like the equivalent of a vape addict. She wants all the smoke. Azealia Banks confronted the security guards again, berated them, and telling them that she is on Rihanna's upcoming album and they should have known who she was. The female security guard would then attempt to remove Banks from the venue, resulting in Banks spitting in her face and biting the female security guard on her breast. Azealia was arrested for second degree harassment for physical contact, disorderly conduct for a fight, and violent behavior, and assaulting with the intent to cause physical injury. Now remember Azealia Banks being included on Rihanna's 2016 album, Anti? Well, that ended up not happening. In response, Azealia Banks would release 90 seconds of the song on the internet anyway. On January 27, 2016, Rihanna would release Work, and Azealia Banks, being petty, would tweet this on her Twitter. Work video reminds me of Baby Boy video with Sean Paul, except not as fly. The following year, Rihanna would express her disdain for Donald Trump on Twitter after news of the former president executive order to ban immigrants from seven countries from entering the United States. Rihanna's tweet read, Disgusted. The news is devastating. America is being ruined right before our eyes. What an immoral pig you have to be to implement such BS. So yeah, Rihanna tweeted that, and here comes Azealia Messi Banks responding with, as far as Rihanna, who isn't a citizen and can't vote, and all the rest of the celebrities who are using their influence to stir the public, you lot really, really need to shut up and sit down. Stop chastising the president. It's stupid and pathetic to watch. All of these confused people confuse other confused people. Rihanna would respond, posting a photo on Instagram blowing a kiss with the caption, the face you make when you were immigrant. Hashtag stay away from the chickens. Hashtag I heart nuggets. Hashtag save our hens. Now with the hashtag, it suggests Re was addressing Azealia's rituals where Azealia would sacrifice chickens. <coughs> Then after that, Azealia did the unthinkable by dropping what appears to be Rihanna's number with the caption, bombs away. And Rihanna would post an alleged screenshot of a message she received from Azealia with the caption, weirdos, 
which reads, I don't have to do anything to you, miss. Beyonce is already working heavy on you. Everything to stop and think, that's why you have a drug and sex addiction. LOL. Girly. Best of luck. That message would also expose Azealia's number. So yeah, Rihanna is a menace too, but not an unprovoked one. Former Disney star Sky Jackson, who is best known for portraying the role of Zuri Ross at the time, got into it with Miss Banks on the friendly app Twitter in 2016. Yes, six years ago. And I can't believe this happened like six years ago as it seemed like it was just yesterday. Wait a minute! How old was Sky Jackson in 2016? 14. Remember when I said Azealia Banks is like a vapor? As she wants all the smoke. Anyone can get it from Azealia, whether you're a man, woman, non-binary, and apparently children. It doesn't matter. Sky and Azealia's Twitter brawl started after Sky came to Zayn Malik's defense after he was getting disgustingly dragged on the platform by Azealia, which I covered in part 1, go check it out, but wait and watch this video first before you click off. Sky would insert herself, tweeting, Azealia Banks need to simmer down a little. Now Azealia Banks being the queen of insults replied, And you need to grow some hips and start your menses. Stay in a child's place. But Sky was not having that disrespect from Azealia and followed up with at Azealia Banks when a no hip having 14 year old has more class than you. Worry about your career. Get one. <laughs> Honestly, Azealia should have just bowed out gracefully, but we all know that did not happen. Azealia would respond saying, your mom's been pimping you out to Disney since you were a little girl. Let's see what you end up like at 21. Bye. Now, Azealia thought she did something, but Sky ate that tweet and said, At Azealia Banks, I had a career before Disney and I'm sure I will after. And I know I won't turn out like you, bitter and miserable. Fix your life. Oh my god. Sky Jackson is a menace too. This whole situation was crazy. Azealia Banks would call Sky a meme and a nobody. And Sky would say, Yeah, I'm a meme, a meme that's more relevant than you. She would even call her Azealia Stanks. Sky Jackson basically tells Azealia, Shut your ass up! And it got so bad that even Sky's mom chimed in and tag team Azealia's ass. In an interview with Teen Vogue, the magazine asked Sky, what made you even decide to send the first tweet about Azealia Banks? Sky Jackson replied, I know who Azealia Banks is, and I would always see her trending on Twitter. At first, I would never really pay attention to it, but then I realized she was trending because of all the negative things and all the racial slurs that she was saying to Zayn Malik. I felt like it was totally offensive and not right to say at all. She's a bully and I've been bullied when I was younger. I'm against bullying. I hate it because I've dealt with it. I felt like I had to say something on my Twitter. So yeah. Sky might have been a kid, but she bodied Azealia's ass. Not too many people can say that. And back then, as a result of all of that chaos, Azealia Banks' Twitter was suspended. And no see ya. Now, you've probably heard the term skeletons in your closet, but uh, your girl Azealia Banks has chicken in her closet. In 2016, Azealia Banks went on Instagram to show her fans a really disgusting, dirty ass closet, which was the result of her performing Bujeria, which is various types of witch and occult religious practices that exist in Latin America and Afro Caribbean cultures. The amount of crap that's about to come off my floor right now. Guys, oh my god. Azealia says in the video, three years worth of bujeria. Yes, you know, I gotta scrape all this shit up. In the video, it showed Azealia Banks wearing safety goggles and using a power sander to clean what appears to be feathers and gunk off the floorboards. Real, real witches, witches do real, do real things. things, she says before turning on the sander. Now, can y'all imagine the smell? Remember, this is not outside or even an open area, but in her house. As I said in part one, Azealia Banks is crazy. 
and obviously attention-seeking for this. Anyway, the singer-songwriter Sia, a supporter of animal rights, later took to Twitter to call out Azealia Banks in a tweet that read, Sacrificing animal for your gain is the wackest shit I've ever heard. Get ahead by being awesome, kind, and hardworking. Now, who told Sia to say that? Azealia would fire back at the Chandelier singer on Instagram, calling Sia an ugly, pasty, dry white lady. Azealia further told Sia to have respect for her traditional African religion and also called Sia a pompous white b-word. Azealia Banks followed that up with another post saying, Sia sis, call me and let me crush up some maravilla and some honey and sascaria and make a salve for that chapped face of yours. Don't you ever in your pompous white life ever- <laughs> Don't you ever in your pompous white life ever fix your stupid chapped face to say anything sideways about my religious beliefs or practices. This is your first warning. In April 2013, rapper ASAP Rocker, okay some people did call me out for calling him ASAP Rocker instead of ASAP Rocky in part 1, I'm just referencing the time when Miley Cyrus called him ASAP Rocker at the VMAs in 2015, now they did correct it in post, hence there is a video on YouTube of her saying Rocky, but I watched it live and she actually said Rocker. That's why you could clearly see ASAP being pissed after she said his name. Anyway, ASAP Rocker gave an interview to the Coverture which he suggested dark-skinned women shouldn't wear purple lipstick. Though his statement was not aimed directly at Banks, she took it personally and responded on Twitter saying, LOL at ASAP Rocky's lipstick advice. Some people should just come out the closet. And Azealia wouldn't end it there as she would release more tweets that questioned ASAP Rocky's sexuality. In June of this year, Beyonce released Break My Soul, the leading single from her latest LP, Renaissance. While many were hyped for the song or just neutral, Azealia Banks was pissed that Beyonce was making house music. In her stories on Instagram, Azealia would post a series of videos claiming Beyonce is trying to erase her presence from the house scene and quoted a statement from a Metro UK article that claimed Beyonce used Azealia's music for inspiration along with other black artists and DJs in the UK. Beyonce has been trying to write me out of my own narrative for like years at this point. Like this is f so fucking weird. So early Azealia Banks records. Okay, so what are you trying to do? Are you trying to encapsulate my music in time and say like, you know, uh, like it's vintage or something as if I'm not as as as, as if my last three releases have not whipped your ass like are you kidding as if I as if I'm not showing like major versatility and all of that like you want me to not be Yamaya so fucking badly like you want it to be so long you want it to be like Chloe Bailey, like you did a Little Mermaid movie and you don't include Azealia Banks. Like, oh my fucking God, you are like, you're a joke. And now in addition, you're like trying to like just with whatever, like you're so sneaky. You're trying to erase my contributions to like house music, dance music, electronic music and all of that and like make it as if I'm what? Azealia Banks fans started to make mashup of Beyonce's Break My Soul because they liked it. But your favorite girl Miss Banks was not feeling the mashups. She took her Instagram stories and wrote, Please, for the love of God, stop the Break My Soul AB mashups. They are horrible. If you haven't seen part 1 of Azealia Banks is a Menace to Society, go watch it. It's really entertaining and uh, Azealia Banks is the menace that keeps on giving. So if you guys want part 3 or maybe a Rihanna is a Menace video, like the video. And if this video gets, I don't know, 2000 likes, then I'll make part 3 and make the Rihanna version as well. 
because a lot of us have forgotten Rihanna was the original menace. Anyway, like the video and in the comments, tell me your favorite Azealia Banks song. I am Don, your pop culture boy, and I will see you in the next one.